Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the new iPhone SE. Guys, I'm so sorry if this video is a little bit late. The UPS guys missed my address, so I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my video. So I guess we're gonna go straight to the unboxing. Okay guys, this is it. The infamous iPhone SE. I'm actually very excited to share this moment with you guys because this is my first red iPhone and also this is my first iPhone with Touch ID. My first impression when I took it out of the box was like, man, this is very small. I knew the phone is very small but I never imagined the box of the phone is going to be this small. I mean, the box looks so small compared to the iPhone XR's box. But anyways, let's see what comes in the box. Okay guys, brace yourself. This is the best part of unboxing an iPhone and that is taking out the plastic bag on the box itself. It's so satisfying, trust me guys. The first thing you're gonna see when you open the box is designed by Apple in California. And inside you're gonna see a red flyer I think every time you buy an, a red iPhone, Apple donates some of it to the HIV and AIDS program. You're also going to see your manual. Nobody reads that, so just let's keep that. You're also going to see your SIM tool, which is going to come in handy anytime you want to insert your SIM card. And lastly, you're going to find the Apple sticker. I really love this stuff, even though I never use it. Let's see what else comes in the box. Well, of course, the iPhone itself. Imagine someone buying an iPhone and when you open the box and there is nothing there I can't even imagine that guys. You need to see this red iPhone in person I don't know maybe because it's my first red iPhone. I'm so excited. This is the second best part of the unboxing I don't know why pulling off the pull tab is so satisfying The phone looks so small in my hands. So if you have small hands, this phone is actually for you Even some people with big hands they love small phones, but I'm still a fan of big phones, I'm sorry guys. Okay, what else comes in the box? First, you get a 5 watt USB power adapter. This charger is actually very slow, so I recommend you getting a faster charger. You, I know you could get a faster one for $15 on Amazon. Next, you get AirPods with lightning connectors. They actually sound decent, so I don't really have any complaints here. I actually don't use them that often because most of the time is that I'm using my AirPods or my Sony headphones. But sometimes they come in handy anytime I can't find my AirPods or I forget to charge my Sony headphones. So, And finally, you get your lightning to USB cable. But once again, guys, I prefer you getting a faster charger because if iPhone S is capable of fast charging, and also wireless charging, so it depends on what you want. Okay, that's it. That's all you get in the box, so let's get back to the iPhone SE. Wait, before I go back to the iPhone SE, let me just give you a recap of what comes in the box. Where well, you're gonna get the phone itself, manuals and stickers, red flyer, your AirPod with lightning connector, lightning to USB cable, and finally your five watt USB power adapter. So I'm gonna power on the iPhone SE right now. The boot up is actually fast, you can see the A13 Bionic chip in the phone doing its work. Setting up the phone is not going to take long, but you don't really need to watch it, so I'm going to fast forward this part. Ok, I'm done with the setup, let's move to the design of the iPhone SE. Looking at the phone, the phone actually comes with a glass back with aluminium finish, which gives it this premium feel. Even though the phone is $399, the phone actually feels premium in the hands. The iPhone SE comes with a 12 megapixel camera with f1.8 aperture and up to 5x digital zoom. I'm gonna be testing the iPhone SE's camera in my next review video, so if you're interested, you can kindly please subscribe and turn on the notification. Well, comparing the iPhone SE 2 to the iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro Max, the iPhone SE 2 is smaller in every dimension. It's smaller in height, it's smaller in weight, it's smaller in width, everything. Okay guys, that's it for the unboxing. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my videos. If you enjoy what you see, please subscribe 
and turn on the notification. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.